Hey guys, it's the Dark, and today I'm gonna review Brightburn, and oh boy, is this a big old scary and gory film! Brightburn was a movie written by James Gunn's brothers. It basically brings up the age-long question of, what if Superman was evil? Well, there's only one way to find out. And now to... The story starts with Kyle and Tori Brayer, played by David Denman and Elizabeth Banks, as they try to start a family. It seems that they're having trouble with fertility. Then, something crashes into Earth near their backyard. They go out to investigate, and they find a bouncing baby bay in a spacecraft. They decide to adopt him as their own because... <laughs> and then, it skips to his 12th birthday. He seems pretty normal, and actually very smart for his age. but. There's something off about him. Okay. Then, he starts wondering about his past. They just told him that it was from an orphanage, and you know, not from a spaceship. I mean, like, my parents would tell me that. However, he seemed to have connected in some way to his spaceship. He starts convulsing, and then he's hovering over his spaceship. There's something weird going on with him. Uh, maybe it's just puberty. I don't know. And then the mother finds what she thought was going to be inappropriate magazines because he's going through puberty, but, but it turns out that it's just uh, c cut open ch like bunnies and stuff. You know, normal kid stuff. And she doesn't even react well to this. She just tells her husband what you should do, honey, you should just give him a little hunting lesson and then just, like, tell him about what puberty is. Right? And then he's like, You know what, honey? This is a great idea. Yes, it is. It's so cool. Yeah, he totally just snap out of killing animals for this. And guess what? That didn't work. So now he knows about puberty and he's now stalking a girl that he likes. And he even talks back to chickens! I mean, like, these things, I you wouldn't want them in your neighborhood. They're so dangerous! So, um, he once he finds out that he's special, he feels a bit betrayed. And then, he breaks the bones of this girl that he was stalking after she called him a pervert. And his mom's still defending him! So, um, he goes back to the girl that he was stalking, and he says, Oh, I'll fix that little mommy problem you got there. And then he goes to the girl that he's stalking's mom's place, and, y you know, he messed her up. You see, uh, here's the real reason why she's just got murdered so easily. She's just, like, really bad when it comes to hitting a bat. Just look at this. Look at this. Uh, it, look at it. See? He just walks normally, and then she hits it with the bat. She's not even close. She's just bad with bats. But granted, she did have to pull a thing out of her eye, and that's really painful. And also, he has super speed. Forgot to mention that. So, he's required to get counseling because he broke the girl's arm. And the it's like his aunt or something. And she's she has to like tell the sheriff, Hey, this kid's improving or not. In case he might have a possible sociopath. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, but here's the thing. Brandon doesn't want that. So, Brandon's getting kind of angry, because, you know, he doesn't want Mommy and Daddy to know. I'm going to make this easy for you. You don't tell the sheriff, nothing bad happens. And then she's like, no, I don't want to, because that's against the law. Now, I know what you're thinking. Wow, what a stubborn jerk. She's, she deserves to burn in hell. Oh, oh, Brandon wants to kill her. But just as he's about to murder her... Her husband shows up, who's the funniest guy in the entire movie. Yeah, yeah, he took care of him. It's, it didn't look good. Every time he kills someone, he leaves the mark of a killer, like a BB, is in his initials. The dad's like, hey, maybe our son's a psychopath. And the mom's like, no, he's my son and I love him so much. He finds a bloody shirt of his and then he's like, hey, this is getting pretty weird. But then mommy said... No, 
My son would never be like that. Parent of the year, I know. Uh, he wants to um, bring him to a hunting trip to show how much he loves him, but really he just wants to kill him by shooting him in the back of the head because he knows he's evil. He immediately gets laser-eyed, no question. Meanwhile, Mommy finally believes the dad after she finds the symbols from the killings because the sheriff told her about them. A and now she's screwed. Because guess who's back from the hunting trip? She calls the cops, which just doesn't work, and um, then she uh, tries to kill him with the spaceship that he had when he was a baby. Now, here's the thing about Brandon. He never bled once in his life until he fell into the spacecraft, which causes him to get a cut. He even gets shot and not a dent is given. Congrats, you got one smart point. There, right there. But just as she's about to kill him, she literally just decides to make a whole speech about how much she loves him and how much she thinks he can do good. And then he grabs her arm. Well, time to take that smart point away. Brendan then takes her up to the sky and drops her, murdering her. And then Brandon decides to crash an entire plane and blames the murder of all those people on that. And that's the end. I hope you like this video. Now you might be thinking, what's my overall thoughts on this movie? Now, despite what you may think, I don't think that the mother is the biggest moron on this planet. You see, the reason why she was acting like a moron was because that's the only son she'd ever get, and it was a blessing from God to her. Which I, I kind of feel for. It, it must suck, like, to, for that to happen. Which makes her speech at the end justifiable. She loves him, and she wanted to give him one last chance to say, I'm good. Really, this isn't a horror movie about an evil Superman. This is a story about the breakdown of a family. Now, if I will give this movie a rating, 8 out of 10. A good 8 out of 10. There's still some stupid parts that I didn't like. Anyway, guys, goodbye. See you in the next video.